I think I've had a lot of great experiences in China, particularly with the MIC、um, study abroad group. But、um, one of my most memorable experiences wasn't actually in Beijing.、Um, it was in Hohot, which is the capital of the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. And、uh, the time I went there is about、um, in China. It's called、uh, Zhongqiujie. So it was basically MIC's fall break, and this was about. Um, a quarter through the study abroad program, so by that time I had already learned quite a bit of Chinese. So、um, I went to Ho Ho independently by myself,、um, and I thought that was a、um, pretty good opportunity to just practice all the Chinese I'd learned up till then. So, yeah. Prior to coming、um, to the study abroad program, I'd been to China. Two times before, once was to、um, intern over the summer, and another time was just to visit family.、Um, but prior to that, I'd never actually had the opportunity to explore Beijing in depth. So I'd always had this impression that China or Beijing was a very、um, just a huge city that would be impossible to navigate. But just living in Beijing and having to navigate the public transportation system every day.、Um, Just made me feel like Beijing is actually a much smaller city than it actually seems like. Actually, I think my Chinese has made a great improvement. Because when I was applying for this project, I didn't have confidence in speaking Chinese with real Chinese people. Because even though I was in the United States and took Chinese classes, 我没有就是很很很多的机会跟呃中国人交流，所以，嗯，就是到了到了中国以后，嗯，因为我们这个 M I C 项目有一个语言誓约，啊、嗯，我们发誓就是从那个项目开始到离开那个项目以后呃时候的时候，我们只会说中文，所以因为我每天只可以只可以说中文，嗯。我觉得，嗯、um, ，我我的口语有有很大的进步，嗯、um, ，还有我觉得我我我的写的中中文有也有很大的进步，因为我们几乎每个星期有嗯、um, 需要写一个呃比较长的文章，所以我觉得我们 M I C 项目有很多就是练习我们写的中文的机会。啊、uh, ，我申请这个 M I C 项目的时候，我选择的话题是中国的外交政策，所以，嗯、um, ，我的一对一的，我的一对一课的话题，嗯、um, ，其实有很很大的范围，比如说，啊、uh, ，我我有一我也有一篇课文，嗯、um, ，是关于，呃、uh, ，中国与朝鲜之间的外交关系。还有一篇文章是呃一篇课文是关于啊、呃、中国在非洲的投资啊、呃，还有的是关于啊啊、呃呃、周恩来，还有啊、呃、中国的很一些很有名的外交家，比如说啊、呃、顾伟军啊、呃、那样的那样的话题。Having a Chinese roommate、um, has really enhanced my study abroad experience because prior to coming to China,、um, I hadn't had a lot of opportunities to、um, talk with actual Chinese people, let alone Chinese、um, people my age. So before I before I came to China, I had always assumed that、um, most young Chinese people's、um, Their their thoughts regarding political topics and international relations topics were pretty much the same. But、um, after having a Chinese roommate, I realized that actually Chinese people have a lot of different views regarding、uh, politics and economics that sometimes are similar to lots of, a lot of Americans' views. For students considering study abroad in Beijing, I would recommend that they speak Chinese from day one.、Um, personally, I think the Mid Middlebury's、um, language pledge has done a lot to improve my Chinese language ability, and I think that the only way to actually、uh, learn about a culture and speak Chinese as it's spoken by real Chinese people is to practice it on a daily basis. So,、um, my top recommendation would be to speak Chinese from day one and. Try to use English as little as possible.